Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here, welcome back to another Monster Hunter World video. The next Arc-Tempered Elder Dragon went live this morning, this time it's Kashala. So in this video, I wanted to quickly go over the Gamma Armor, how you get it, and a few other things you might want to know. So if you do enjoy this video, then a like would be super appreciated, and also, if you'd like help with this quest, then right now, 269 and Paradise Central are streaming Monster Hunter World over on Twitch, helping people with this quest. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below. If you click on that, head over, you can hop in and get involved. And of course, if you haven't entered the Spider-Man PS4 Pro giveaway, you can also find a link to that in the description box down below. Now, let's talk about AT Kushala. The quest went live this morning, and it actually runs for an entire month, since the Autumn Festival kicks off in a couple of weeks. If you haven't seen the information on that, I'll link my other video down below that went live this morning, but essentially you have from today all the way up till October the 5th to do this quest. In terms of difficulty, in truth, Arc Temper Kushala doesn't seem a great deal different. The main thing is when you flash him, he doesn't come crashing to the ground. He behaves more like Lunastra, where he just sits there floating in the sky. With that in mind, you might want to consider doing what we did and using flashes in the opposite way to normal. Flash him when he's on the ground to keep him grounded and stop him from flying and also slowing him down a little bit when he goes to limp away. Aside from that, however, he's very similar to the regular tempered Kushala. However, upon defeating him, you will get Kushala Daora tickets and you need a grand total of five if you want to craft the Gamma Armor set and a further two if you want to get the Guild Cross layered armor. But let's take a quick look at the Gamma Armor set. First up, you have the Kushala set bonus, Nullify Wind Pressure, which negates all wind pressure effects. You then have Handicraft level 4, which increases your weapon sharpness by 40. Ice Attack level 3 for that plus 100 ice attack. Focus level 2, which increases your gauge fill rate and reduces charge times by 10%. Evade Window level 2, which slightly increases your invulnerability window. And finally, Evade Extender level 1, to slightly increase your evasion distance. But as always, the gamma sets are usually more so about the slots. So for Kushala, you have a level two slot in the helmet, a level two slot in the chest, three level one slots in the gloves, two level one slots in the waist, and a level three slot in the legs. So altogether, quite a bit of potential there. And of course, the key pieces to call out are your helmet that carries two points in handicraft with that level two slot. Meanwhile, the waist has the other two points and the gloves have two points in focus. So there are definitely some potentially interesting pieces in this set. So I can see them being used in some mix set combinations. And then as mentioned, if you want, you can then head over to the resource center and complete the delivery quest to unlock the Guild Cross layered armor set if you wish. With that my friends, it's pretty much it. Remember to head over to 269 and Paradise Central streams now if you guys wanna hunt with them. And of course, keep it locked for much more Monster Hunter World content. Thanks very much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to check out some more awesome stuff from us here at Arix Gaming, then you should definitely try to catch 269 and Paradise Central streaming six days a week. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below. They play a wide range of games, and what's more, we also have the end game store. By watching their streams, you earn currency, and you can redeem that currency on the end game store for really cool prizes. Those can range from things like games, comics, and figures, all the way up to controllers, capture cards, and even consoles. So definitely drop by and become part of the community. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, then make sure you're subscribed and be sure to click on that little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss our next upload. You can watch more videos by clicking on the options here. But once again, thanks very much for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.